Hello. So you guys have been asking for a video similar to this for quite some time, so I decided it was finally the time to do it. And that is my favorite book covers. I have very eclectic tastes just in general, okay? Like personal style, I can range from looking like a goth metal lover that I am to like a preppy girly girl. So I have a wide variety of things that I love and that applies to book covers as well. So I don't think you will see any like similar common themes between any of these book covers. Just if something stands out as beautiful to me, then I love it. I'm definitely not someone who has certain trends that I think always look best. There's not a certain formula or anything like that. It can be totally plain or rainbow, super vibrant. You'll see a variety here. So let's just get into it. There's not gonna be much explaining to this. It's gonna be, here's this book, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> So I apologize if this seems like a very repetitive video, but let's just get started. So the first book on my list is the UK edition of Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, and specifically the UK edition of this book. It is a favorite book of mine, so I own the US edition as well. I'm not a fan of this glossy, shiny paper. I guess I, I like the blue, but I don't love the yellow with it. So it's just this version. I think it's absolutely stunning with the moth, which you obviously understand if you've read it, the gold foiling. I love this simple back. It was impossible, of course, but when did that ever stop any dreamer from dreaming? I am like dreaming and anything to do with magic and being a dreamer is like what I live my life by. So anything that says that, but it is a favorite book of mine and I love like the galaxy look. I don't know. It's just plain beautiful. I'm so glad to own this because I know they're hard to come by anymore. Now I do own the UK edition of Views of Nightmares as well and I just don't love that cover as much. I think it's because it's silver. It was a really bad choice to go from gold to silver in my opinion. I think gold would have looked phenomenal on this red cover and I'm not a silver gal. I like gold everything so yeah, that one doesn't make the cut, but this is the first one. Next, we have one that's probably pretty obvious if you've seen any of my book hauls or know which books I own, and that is this anniversary edition of Dune by Frank Herbert, which Daniel bought me. I'm obsessed with it. I will tell you I finished this book this morning, and I'm super thrilled that I really enjoyed this book because now it like makes sense that I have a special edition of it, but this is freaking stunning. Everything about this I love. So my favorite color is black. Black everything. I want to wear all black all of the time. But if it's not black, I like rainbow. I like really vibrant combination of colors. So this orange and yellow and teal and green and whatever it is just works so well. This stands out. This really encompasses like the vibe of the book in my opinion with the eyes and like the sand and the moon and like the dusty desert feeling. You feel real thirsty when you're reading this book and I can kind of like get that sense from this. These sprayed edges, this, this color combination, glorious. And it has the beautiful end paper. It has the imprint fear is the mind killer which i'm obsessed with this gold spine it's just oh and then there's like the cover art under here i don't know if there's a more beautiful book i own than this like i i really don't think that there is and it just keeps going i don't know whoever designed this man you did a good job and this is i didn't purchase this myself but this is one of those cases where it's like you don't mind spending extra money on a book like this when it's this drop dead gorgeous Next, we have my other baby. You guys know, This Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This is the UK edition. Thank goodness for Book Depository saving our lives for us Americans here because we don't get the cool editions of books uh, other than that Dune one. Um, I love this. It gives me the whimsical feeling that this book has, but while still being like mysterious and dark, like you could tell he's running from something. I'm getting the B tattoo for this book. I love the combination of the colors. Once again, on the back with the key and the combination of those colors, gorgeous spine. And then look at these stamped edges. Like that's stunning. The B, the key, the sword. You guys know, you know, if you know, you know. It once again has really pretty end pages. And I love that really simple, like looks like your, your old fashioned classic book that you would see in an ancient library, which I think is, very clearly done on purpose and just more more beauty 
all around. It's such a stunning book. And I'm so glad to own this copy of my favorite book of all time. This is just beautiful. Next, we have two books by the same author. There's no way I could make this list without including them. The first, you probably won't be surprised, is The Child Thief by Brahm. You guys, I don't know how well you can see it, but this version of Peter Pan is my favorite thing ever. This illustration, the way that he looks, and the like ghost ghouly demon, whatever things you want to call them. Same thing on the back here. Once again, because it's a book by Brahm and he is an illustrator, like he includes all of these beautiful illustrations in the book. Like that version of Peter, are you kidding me? Or the witch? Hopefully you can see this and the ring light is not making that bad of a, of a glare. But look at these illustrations. This is all his art and I just, I just can't get over it. This book is just stunning in my opinion. So I also had to include Lost Gods by Brahm because look at the cover. These are also very unique size books. They're super like more towards square, but this, like I want a giant print of that in my freaking house. Like put that in my kitchen. I don't care where it is. It's so beautiful, but I do have to just show you. I mean, this might not be pretty, two people but oh no you guys <laughs> I literally just broke the spine right now you do not even understand how upsetting that is to me it's like broken <laughs> the video must go on oh my god I could cry I'm so sad might as well keep showing you but like look at this art a beautiful book that now the spine is ruined. I'm genuinely upset. I did just tell you guys I'm a fan of gold. That's why Dark Age by Pierce Brown is a favorite book cover of mine as well. The simplicity of the black and gold. I love the title going vertically on the cover and his name here. I am also a huge snake fan. I used to own snakes. I would love to own snakes again. Probably not gonna be able to happen. I have a tattoo of snakes. So the black snakes on the front, or vipers, pit vipers, I love. I'm obsessed with this cover. It's beautiful. It makes an impact. It stands out. And oh my God, what I wouldn't do to own that Illumicrate edition, I think it was. I believe it had the snake stamped on the spine, which if I could get my hands on that, I would cry. But I hadn't read Iron Gold when this one was coming out. And so I just didn't know how much I was going to love the book. And at that point, I was like, well, why are you going to spend a bunch of money on the book if you don't even know if you like it yet? So... Unfortunately, I don't have that, but this is still beautiful. Ugh, I'm still sour over this. Here's where you'll see things really take a turn. This is a self-published novel. It's a young adult fantasy romance, The Raven and the Dove by Caitlin Davis. I do love this young adult book. I cannot wait to read the sequel soon, and I'm definitely purchasing. These are very expensive hardcovers because they are self-published, but this art, yes, it looks cliche. Yes, it looks like your young adult tropey book, but I think it's stunning. The artist did a great job. It just, it's very visually appealing to me for whatever reason. The other thing about this book is that when you take the dust jacket off is it's printed on like the naked hardback and that's just beautiful in my opinion. So this is a series I will continue with and I will definitely keep supporting the author in purchasing these books because I want them on my bookshelf, frankly. Now, while this is not a book I really enjoy anymore, this book is beautiful and deserves to be on the list in my opinion. And that is Crescent City, book one in the House of Earth and Blood series by Sarah J. Mass. It's a paranormal series that I really, oh man, my copy's all scratched. I don't really love that much and I don't think the spine is great, but you could actually get like a poster of this and I just think it's beautiful. <laughs> How can I say this? To me, this is a bit misleading because this does not encompass the feelings that this book gave me whatsoever. It's it's like a urban fantasy set in like a real world. It's not Earth, but there's technology and phones. This makes me think of like earthy, witchy magic and not at all the vibes that I actually get from reading the book, but I do really love the cover. 
I love the crescent moon. I do like the spine here and these end papers where you can see the color illustration. It's just phenomenal in my opinion. So it still is a favorite book cover. I have a thing for moons as well. I have a giant crescent moon tattoo on my back. I, I love moons. So that's probably partially why I like this so much. Another favorite book that has a favorite cover is Prior of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I love the colors of this. I love all of the detail going on. This is one of the prettiest. Is it a dragon or a wyvern? I always get them mixed up. But on this tower, the blue, the richness of the blue in contrast with the orange and yellow is so stunning in my opinion. It has just the right amount of like, this is all textured and most, some of it is matte and some of it is gloss. So it's like raised font. I think the spine is stunning. It continues on the back. This is just a all around gorgeous book. Everything was done perfectly. I just like how it continues on the spine of the book and it's not like completely jarring and separate. And that's originally what attracted me to this book is the cover. I think that that's the same for a couple of these. The Raven and the Dove definitely attracted me to it because of the cover and I ended up giving it five stars. It's a great book. Another book that was a slightly disappointing conclusion to a trilogy, but Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. These are the UK editions, which I had to own as well, since it's a favorite series of mine. Oh my God, my cats, you guys, my books were on the floor and my cats have like clawed them. The reason I love this so much, this artist that does the, his covers, I follow him on Instagram and his, his work is amazing. All of the detail that goes into it, if you can even see, right here. I love the stars on the end pages, but like cats are my favorite animal. So the fact that this is a dear Mr. Kindly cat and there's all of the details of like the ship, we've got the sword and snake and skull, everything in the front. I just think it's beautiful. I love the contrast of the moon and the dark cat with just a plain white background. It works really well in my opinion. And I had to have this edition when I knew that it had this imprint on the actual hardcover itself. Because I'm a cat girl, come on, I own three cats. I don't dislike the US editions. I think that they're fitting and they're pretty, but they I just enjoy this more. Now I'm looking over here because I have actually the, oh gosh, what is her name? But they're the, I think it's a Luma Crate. What was it? No, it was Faye Crate that included the custom like special edition book covers for Nevernight. Those are phenomenal. If I can find an old picture that I took of it, I will because those hands down are my favorite book covers I've ever seen me as my favorite character. And that's why they're framed on my wall, not sitting on the books because those pieces of art, oh my God, nothing can compare to. Next we have this book that's representing an entire different category of book covers. That's Dreamer's Pool by Juliet Marillier. And this is the first book in the Blackthorn and Grimm series, which is a favorite trilogy of mine. I think it's so classically beautiful. This like whimsical romance fantasy, historical fantasy, the girl running through the woods, the flowers in her hair and her dress, her face is like so soft and gorgeous. The forest is like real dark and eerie looking. I don't know, this is just stunning to me. I think it's absolutely breathtaking and I love Juliet Merlier so I had to include one of her books. You see what I mean yet? Why I can like range from like, oh, give me this and give me that. <laughs> Next is the anniversary edition of the Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks. As I stated, black is my favorite color. So you're giving me an entirely black book, black font between like the matte and the shiny with all of the swords on the front. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I love seeing it on my bookshelf. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see the text, honestly. I don't know how that's going to come up, but... The back says, assassination is an art, my lord, and I am the city's most accomplished artist with the sword, all black spine again, and sprayed black pages. It just doesn't get more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I don't know. Most people would probably be like, wow, that's a boring black book. But like to me, it's art. It's beautiful. Okay, next is a little bit of a controversial opinion, I feel like, because... I know most people don't seem to like these covers for whatever reason. These covers are what attracted me to the books in the first place. And that is The Witcher series by Andrzej Sapkowski. My first introduction to The Witcher itself was the books. I've never played the video game. So to me, like, 
I didn't know that these were correlated to the video game when I originally saw them. And I didn't necessarily think that they had to do with a specific scene in the book always. I was just like, oh my God, I love these covers. And I stand by that 3000%. I am absolutely obsessed with every single one of these covers. So I'll just quickly show them all to you. The Last Wish. Sort of Destiny, especially Blood of Elves. I love this cover. The Time of Contempt, Baptism of Fire, The Tower of Swallows, and especially The Lady of the Lake. I love this one with Siri and Geralt on it. I don't know, why do so many people dislike these covers so much? I think they're gorgeous. And I have a couple more random like young adult and middle grade covers that I wanted to include just to kind of show the range of things I like. This book, I didn't even really like that much and I still purchased it because I wanted to own the cover. I own the first one already. Children of Virtue and Vengeance, book two in the Children of Blood and Bone series by Tomi Adeyemi. This is just stunning. Oh my God. And you can kind of see the cover of the first one right there. This is such a gorgeous book and I love when there's something on the hardcover when you take the dust jacket off. I think the blue with the black is beautiful. I think this is just gorgeous. Then one of my favorite middle grade series. This is, oh geez, let's see. This is book five, The School for Good and Evil. This is A Crystal of Time and I love the colors so much. This is like a perfect middle grade cover in my opinion. This color combination works so well and we've got Sophie and the prince and then you've got Agatha when you turn it upside down and so I just if you guys it, it makes sense if you know what the rest of the covers are like. I think it's beautiful. This is one of my favorite like novellas I own Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. I love the white and like the whimsical fairy tale looking style to this. There's like a ton of art in this book as well. Really cute end papers between the blue and the pink and what's on them. But I usually display this on my shelf without the dust jacket on it because I think it's so pretty. The contrast between our two main characters in this novella. This is a novella that's a part of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. And I just think this is stunning. I love it so much. Like, I don't understand why more authors don't get the chance to make like really cool art or really cool additions out of their books. Cause like, there's so many of us psychos out here that would pay a lot more money to have special editions, cool things like this, in my opinion. Then we have a young adult cover, You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. And she is the author of Horrid. I did wait to purchase this in the cover that matched that cause I wanna read it. But this is a book dealing with mental illness and depression and grieving and not processing emotions well. And I think that this cover just displays that so well. You can get a sense of her discomfort with her screaming and all the birds around her. I love this art. Second to last are the bind up editions of Death Note. This is volume one and two, I believe, of the black edition. When you have this like matte black, black sprayed edges and just this simple, the skull on the spine, it doesn't get more classically beautiful than this to me. And last but not least, My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. It's like this old VHS tape, classic campy 80s horror. I love the colors. I love the color combination with the black. And if you look at the back and you just see like the top, the quirkiness and just like the old retro pictures. And on here it says like, be kind, please rewind the little like sticker. Like y'all went to the movie store and saw those stickers. I don't know. This is just, I need more things like this in my life. So I had to include that. But that wraps up my list. I don't even know how many that was, but that was a lot. Hopefully, could you get like some kind of idea of what my tastes are like? Or is this just like a mashup mess of there's no common theme? <laughs> I know you can tell the black, the black and the multicolor. What are some of your favorite books and book covers? Well, not like favorite book story, but like what are some of your favorite book covers? I would love to hear. Let me know if you agree and think any of these are your favorite as well. Or if you think any of these are, you know, not the best, let me know. I would love to hear. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.